Pick up five yards on the wild play. Deep down the seam, Deuce Watts hit in stride. Touchdown, Tulane. 35-yard missile, and Deuce was wide open for six. Mitchell motions in the backfield, now runs outside. Pass complete over the middle to Snead, who scampers past tacklers and scores. Coaches say you can't tackle Tyler Snead in a phone booth, and as absurd as that sounds, it might be right. The Wake Forest, Nick Anderson, a huge ball game a couple weeks ago. After a penalty, the Pirates force back, but a tremendous catch by C.J. Johnson. With one paw, he plucked the football out of the sky, and that's a huge play for the Pirates. Well, this is an Odell Beckham type of catch. We'll see it here on the outside. Ehlers, perfect pass to the outside where no one can get it except for Johnson. Scoring the touchdown. They've gone 50 yards on nine plays in their last three drives and three punts, but here's a game changer. Cameron Carroll down the sideline, and he will set up first and goal for the Green Wave. Deuce Watts, three touchdowns in his last five quarters for the Green Wave. Here's Pratt on third and goal. Stepping up into the traffic. Pulls it back down and hits the tight end for the touchdown. Tyrick James was just hanging out by himself for six. Hey, let's get his college coach. Let's put him on CNN and talk about it. Got some publicity out of that. Pressure coming. Pratt throws across the middle and reaching for the goal line. Deuce Watts is in. Touchdown to Lane. From five yards out, Pratt's third of the day. 16th first down of the day for the Tulane offense. Oh, nice run. Cameron Carroll with a huge hole, and he will go the distance. 48 yards for Carroll, touchdown Tulane. Of Monroe's career. Pirates just one of eight on third down, make it one for nine, goodness. A jailbreak blitz and down goes Ehlers. And this would be a season long to extend the lead for Tulane. And that is gorgeous. great Mike Houston and his family was to their daughter Laney and how he really appreciated the, the classy gestures. And that ball's intercepted. So Michael Pratt with his first blemish of the day and it's Jaquan McMillan who gets his second pick of the season. One of Tulane's games a couple years ago so that was a special moment for those two. I bet. Ehlers launching long to the end zone. Touchdown! Blake Prohl hauls it in for the Pirates. A 30-yard oh, missile touchdown. from Ehlers. 5.23 remaining, separating Tulane from their fourth win of the year. Up the middle, a huge crease. Cam Carroll's gone! Touchdown Tulane, the second of the day for Carroll. And that feels like the knockout punch on this Saturday in Greenville. But he's really a dual threat quarterback, such a tough competitor. Floats that one downfield, hits Prohl in stride, and Prohl's gonna go the distance. Shook the tackle of Monroe and takes it 75 yards. Looks like he's gonna try the onside kick, he will. And that ball is loose on the ground. East Carolina football. Why not go for it there, I think, is the philosophy. Ehlers had it stripped. The ball is loose on the ground. And I think Jeffrey Johnson scooped it up. Big number 77 has the football. The field is a fumble recovered by Tulane. It'll be first down, Tulane. Our final score today, Tulane 38, ECU 21. As the Pirates win their, uh, the Green Wave wins their second straight.